This video is going to be talking about informative speaking patterns. It's an important thing to know how we can organize our informative speeches so that we do it in a way that's going to work well for us. There are, going to be, there are several different ways that you can organize an informative speech, but there are three ways that I'd like you to choose from for this specific class. These are going to be the most common types of ways that you'll organize informative speeches, and that's why we're going to do it this way. The first type is chronological or sequential. And this, is a, this makes a lot of sense if you start to think about what those words mean. Basically what you do is you organize the body of your speech based on the timeline of events or in the order that the events happen. So, for instance, if you're giving a speech about a person, it would make a lot of sense to give a chronological or sequential type of speech because you could talk about what happened in the beginning of their life, the middle of their life, and the end of their life. If you're giving a speech to permit application or a how-to type of speech, again, sequential would be a good way to do it because it talks about what happens first, what happens next, and then what happens at the end. So, for instance, if I was going to give a chronological speech about the movie Gone with the Wind, my first point might be talking about pre-war Georgia. My second point might be talking about wartime Georgia. And the third point might talk about post-war Georgia. Um, so those would be some of the ways that I could use chronological um, or the chronological organization pattern to give a speech about Gone with the Wind. The second type of informative speaking pattern you might use might be a spatial organization pattern. And basically what you do with that is you organize the body of your speech as though you're physically moving through a space or an object with your audience. Now what does that mean? Well, I think it's easiest to explain with an example. So let's say we're giving a speech about pregnancy and we're using the spatial speaking pattern. What we might do is move from, the, move from our first point talking about the baby to then moving outwards talking about the amniotic sac around the baby and then the third talking about the the woman's body that's around the amniotic sac. So we've moved from the baby all the way outward to the woman's body. Or we could conversely work it the other way. So we talk about the woman's body, then the amniotic sac, and then the baby. Other examples might be if you're giving a speech about Georgia Northwestern Technical College, you might move from talking about the Gordon County campus to then talking about the Floyd County campus to then talking about the Walker County campus. If you were talking about it and that way, that might be a way that you could talk about it, um, the multiple different campuses and how they're connected, but also how they're different. And it's basically just a way to help your audience keep the information organized and as you're saying it. The third type of speaking pattern you might use might be a topical speaking pattern. And this is the one that I most commonly see because it generally tends to be a very easy speaking pattern to use. However, this isn't always the correct one for you to use with the information you're giving. So you want to think about what's going to be the best. The topical speaking pattern basically looks at the information you want to share and then organizes the body of your speech to the logical points based on that information. So for instance, if you wanted to give a speech on college life using the topical speech pattern, you might have your first point talking about textbooks, your second point talking about balancing work and school, and your third point talking about financial aid. You could also have a topical speech that talks about classes and then professors and then extracurricular activities. Really, the sky's the limit with topical speech patterns, so as long as each of your po points um, talks about what, it, what you say it's going to be talking about, you're probably using a topical speech pattern. So hopefully this helps as you're trying to organize the body points of your informative speech. But remember, all speeches start with an introduction and end with a conclusion, so don't forget to put those into your speech.